we're being really quiet. What's up? Because we're in Bed Bath & Beyond, so we're gonna be really quiet. I actually ran into a client like literally two seconds ago, and I'm like, they're like, hey, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm doing a live stream on the YouTube. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm gonna go watch it. So Brian, if you're out there, hi Ryan. <laughs> so here we go, here we go, here we go. So we're, oh, the stream looks great because they have free Wi-Fi here. Hey, Chris Conkavlog. Hey, King of the Crees. What's up, King? I tried to go early, but we had to wait for Eddie to get ready. No lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're in the curtain section, so I'm gonna show you this first. That's the Saints game, by the way, King. Okay, so in the curtain section, I wanted to show you this because a lot of people, when they put their house up for sale, they um they have these curtains that are up and they've either discolored or they hold a lot of smell. So either you could replace them because it's not that expensive to replace a few windows, but you can wash a lot of curtains too. So just look at the uh, bottom, there's a tag, just like in sweaters, and um, wash your curtains before you put up your house for sale. And I wanted to show you that because that's gonna be part of um, Tuesday's tip video. I'm doing an ex extensive Tuesday tip too to you. On, on getting your house prepared before you put it on the market. See, yep. machine wash. Yep. Gentle. Gentle. Yep, you saw a little, I made in, made in China. 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 China, China, China. And we're hoping to Jesus that they don't. Um, the audio sounds great, thank God. And apparently they're going to, um, hopefully we're staying quiet because we don't want them to. Um, What's up, BCJ? <laughs> we don't want them <laughs> to kick us out. So we're trying to stay as quality, quiet as possible. It depends who you're talking to. <laughs> Eddie's going to rock it out, huh? Okay, so um, one of the ways you can uh, update windows and make it look really nice is adding um, some new... Uh, hardware to your curtains. So if you have these curtains that you love, but your house looks dated, one way to make it look more modern is to add some new, um, some new hardware. So, you know, they have all these up here. Apparently like that brushed, uh, that brushed uh, gold look is coming back, which I'm not a fan of, but that's not just me personally. That is a look that is coming back. So that's a big rod. That, that, yeah, that's a good size curtain rod, Eddie. You're correct. <laughs> Hi, VCG. Hi, King of the Crease. Hi, Brandon. I hope everybody's having a fantastic Sunday. Make sure you, you smoosh the like button while you're, while you're walking in and hanging out there. <laughs> nice cut, Eduardo. Oh, I, yeah, I just cut it. Yeah. Oh, see my hair hey, Debbie, Debbie, uh, Debbie Davis. She says, I love your shirt. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Come to the dark side. It's the dork side. Oh, the dork side. That's right. That's right. I, like, I haven't worn it in a while. I know. We pie. <laughs> we okay. So it's also the wood one. Are you like Eddie likes the wood uh, rods. And I the thing is is that we have so much wood in our house that I mean it just would be so blendy with all of our other stuff. Huh. What a dork Eddie. Yes, thank you, Chris. Or Brandon. I'm Brandon. Yeah, that's a lot of wood. I don't I think it's like we have too much in our house to make that work. Huh. If we if we didn't have all that wood, if it was tile, I would say yeah, let's go for it. But it's all that we have that hardwood is just too much. What do you think about the cordless? Uh, the cordless shades. shades they're great for a while, and what happens with the cordless shades is that they um, they over time they wear out. So when you go to like lift them up, it would only go so far, and then like one side falls. Great, because I got that in the rental. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, about. I want everybody's opinion. Do you guys have you seen these um, corded cordless shades, and do you like them? Because I want to, I want to know your opinion. Because you know, this is how they they work, and then you lift them up, and they're supposedly going to stay. But I've seen them where they don't stay; they kind of fall off. Yeah, they do that exactly. <laughs> yeah, and you never can get the other side to go back up. No matter how much you play with it, it will not go back up. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> huh. You got the metal. <laughs> that goes up. Yeah. And you can bring it back down. We have them uh, share the workplace out of your right. They don't, uh, they're not re reliable. They're not reliable. They're the shades brushless? Yes, they are. Look, there's no brush. There's I don't even know. What, when, they, they, when they're talking about the brushless drill. There's and all. brushes in the motor. I don't know what they're talking about. 
I'm like, I'm every time they say that, I'm imagining like this this drill that just runs brushes. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I do. I don't, I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, look, look, look. So this is a good way to um, update a area in your um, bedrooms too. So if you have like uh, a child's bedroom and stuff, they always like tear apart their bedding. But you can get um, like a new bedspread with some throw pillows and it will make, it will update your space. DCG says it needs a break before it goes back up. Is that true? <laughs> All right. So, um, so like, I want to show you this cause this is, this is one of my favorite ways to update a room. So you get like a black and white, um, type of comforter, but then you go ahead and, um, you add like a pop of color. So whatever color you want, you know, whatever your accent color is, you can, if you buy something like this, you can change out the accent color all the time. But if you buy something that's only this and then then you're stuck with it so at least you have you can always pop do a pop of color it's the size so here's what's funny what here's what's funny a twin xl is 48 right a full is 39 so you're telling me a twin XL and and it's an eight piece and this one's only a six piece you're telling me a twin is bigger than a full no and no, it's no, no, no. and it has more pieces i don't know i haven't figured that one out Brian Parker. Hey, Ryan Parker. Okay. <laughs> Ryan Parker is my client that saw us in the bed, bath, and beyond. <laughs> and he's like, what are y'all doing here? <laughs> you see, you see headphones on? No, no, not, no today. not today. No headphones. Today. My ha my hand is cupped around the uh, audio. I'm glad you're liking the new culture. Yo, 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 Brian. R Ryan's parents bought a house for me uh, in, in Gonzales. It was a little, it's a lovely home. And they have a, an awesome Halloween party every year. Oh, what do you think? Let's do it. What do you guys think? Is it no. nice? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice bed. Is that a feather bed on there? It's soft. It's really soft. What? Yeah, but like this is a feather oh, bed. Yeah, that is. Well, I want to know what, I want this thing. VCP and, says, welcome, Ryan Parker. Yeah, v Ryan, Ryan is a, he's a fun kid. He, uh, he helped his parents find a house. How about one of these? But that has nothing to do with oh. buying a house. Put it down. Man. Boom! King of the Crease, five dollars. Thank you, King of the Crease. Oh, that goes back into the yes, is helping to pay off the computer that we bought to do our live streams. Yeah, look. look. Oh wow. We're going into the vortex. We're going into the vortex. <laughs> We're going into the vortex. <laughs> 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 Thank you, King. I really Thank appreciate it. <laughs> hey, oh, see, look, like the. Says, Hello, the Hi, BCG. If you don't have pets, if you don't have pets, this is like a white mattress is awesome, and it's a great way to um, to add a pop of color as well. So, uh, how much is this one, Eddie? Brian Parker says I need to come in and take a look at the comforters now. Yeah, well, come well, in. Here it is. Uh, Come in, Ryan. You can be on the live stream. I'll let you come in. I don't think it has it. Come on in, Ryan. Hang out with us. Duh. This one is um, eighty nine or ninety nine. That one's a hundred bucks. Yeah. For a three piece set, that's not bad. Uh -uh. I don't know. This one isn't on here. And it doesn't have a price. Oh, maybe it's free. Yay! I really like that. Yeah, Eddie. If you don't know the words, don't sing it, pumpkin. <laughs> He's on the way. Uh, uh, I love I love my husband, but he can't sing worth a Yo, that's my song in the background, EGM. Is Demon that, is Demon, is that what you sing to your to yourself in the shower? List to say Arms and ends away. It's okay. <laughs> Dance off. Do All you right. guys stage the house for selling? Yes. Or we, do you have someone do it for you? I stage the homes. I help my clients stage their homes. I, I help them. Um, if they're willing to pay for a stager, I do have a stager that I use. Look. <laughs> let's see. Where is he? Brandon says, is that Bed Bath & Beyond at VCG? Live out loud. Yeah. <laughs> That's the beyond part. This is uh, the beyond. beyond. <laughs> this is the beyond. What's up, Abe? We need a moonwalk. Okay. So, um, oh, look. They have all this stuff on clearance. So you can even update your sheets. They have tons of clearance in here. If y'all are looking for some bedding and stuff, look. These sh these sheets were $139. Now they're $79.99. Yeah. Oh, lawnmower. What's going on? 
God, I love the clearance area. Oh! In the kitchen section. Did you hear lawnmower? Get the rotisserie chicken thingy. Yeah, but look at this. It was. It was even. Wait a minute. Look, wait, wait a second. Let me show you something. This yes. says seventy nine ninety nine, but thirty nine to seventy nine ninety nine. But and look, this says fifty nine ninety nine. So I would totally be rocking that. I'd be telling them they need to look behind you. <laughs> There's Ryan Parker. <laughs> Ryan's gonna hang out with us. So Ryan, if you were gonna decorate a home, where, what do you think we should do? Where, where would you go to decorate? Show us. Here, but where? But where, um, where, where, would where, you start? where would you start? Over in the, kid, the kitchen stuff. You want to decorate the kitchen first. Let's okay, go. let's go to the kitchen. VCG says I would. I went to school with a guy named Clarence. Sup, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Parker? Demon. <laughs> you never know who you're gonna run into. Brandon says, do you work with a lot of contractors, Ruth? Uh, uh no. Mm -mm. I like Eddie does. He handles the contractors. I do not handle contractors. Mom Moore says a chicken rotisserie machine would get all the buyers. I have a tendency to tell contractors because they they love to tell me a price that I know darn well is not right, and they're like, "I dare to get it like that." Uh, more know about and then and then when they find out that I know what I'm talking about, then they're totally different people. Ryan, everybody's saying hello. Everybody's hello. saying hello to Ryan. I All right, so these new video yikes 4.0 battery. All right, Ready, communications. Let's decorate the kitchen. Great suggestion. All right, so this is where Ryan would start. So you would decorate the kitchen with uh, a, a nice coffee pot first. Nice. <laughs> okay. Everybody needs coffee. Okay, so show me what kind of coffee pot would you would you would want to get? Because yeah. I would tell you what uh, I would tell you what you should get to make it look more aesthetically pleasing. But I would like to know your opinion on what you would want. Yeah, that that is aesthetically pleasing. So you could leave that still out on the counter. <laughs> Peter Parker's long lost brother, Ryan Parker. <laughs> coffee, Brandon says. Coffee. Okay, so now that we've got your coffee maker, where would you go next? Lombo, what do you know about the North Shore? Good Lord. <laughs> it's Lombo or in Louisiana? I know. Maybe he's been in there. Now, they, they, none of these items would go on the counter. You would not put these on the counter, so you would actually have to tuck these away. So you couldn't have that. How about a Roomba? Not on the counter. To clean the, to clean the house. <laughs> Not on the counter. <laughs> All right, but the, like something like this would be very nice yes. to leave on the counter. It does look nice and it's the aesthetically pleasing to buyers to have something like this on the counter because it makes them want to feel like they could cook and have that. Oh, and it's on sale. Look at that. Oh, that's a good one too. And look, it has the tilt on that. So it's easier to like get ingredients in there. It's on sale, y'all. Look, $5.29, now $3.79. That's a good deal. So you can do the smaller ones at $2.99. He had a yeah. quick call. Yeah, this is good though. Yeah. This is a good deal. Oh, I know, that's a great deal. Uh, Eddie's trying to... Eddie, oh my God, Eddie. <laughs> Don't touch the toys, Eddie. If you're not planning on buying it, you cannot touch the... <laughs> is the cordless brushless KitchenAid mixer? <laughs> oh, he lives Garner. near Dallas now. Family moved from North Shore after Katrina. A lot huh. of people did. Yeah. A lot of people did. Half That's guy, cool. Have flying gamers on. Hola. Hola. Uh, where? Where's the as seen as t on TV section? We will go there. Yeah, absolutely. You have to make it all, maybe to the end, maybe to the middle. We don't <laughs> yeah, we haven't figured that out. <laughs> Ryan left us. Okay, so the, we're done with. Let's make it a call right now. Okay. Lawnmower says, get the cordless brushless KitchenAid oh. mixer. Brandon says, Aloha Gamer. Oh, let's look over here. Okay. Don't buy those t uh, pillows are terrible, King says. The pillows? Which ones? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'll have to tell me because I'm a pillow girl. Oh, Ryan's come back. Okay, so we're, we've picked out the KitchenAid mixer, and we really don't want to put too much more on the, on the, um, on, in your kitchen on the counters because we want to leave a clean workspace. So how about over there where there's the um, containers for, like, the... Uh, Sugar, sugars okay like yeah so let's see what ryan would pick for um uh, yeah you could get a butcher block of knives which one would you pick i like this one myself yeah well it's got the details in it too mm -hmm. and it's a hundred dollar set so it would look nice on the counter and it doesn't break the bank demon. well this one's even cheaper though demon says 39 como esta? But I still like that one the best. Is the kitchen running off the flex bolt? <laughs> I have a lot of tool people on here, so they always compare everything to tools. <laughs> Gamer's a little sick. Oh, no. Oh, you, you need some tea. Hot tea with honey. Um, 
No, this isn't right. No, not the right aisle. <laughs> oh, these are great organizers. But you know, here's a tip, pro tip. Measure, measure your drawer before you come out here. Because I've made this mistake and it was just a little bit too big. So measure your drawers before you go out and buy one of these. I love them, but yeah, I made that ubu before. All right, where we go next? I don't want to. Oh, all right, that Ryan's. Estoy muy bueno. Gracias, demon. Quito? That's what, that's what VCG put in there. Uh, demon said in that Bed, Bath & Beyond Blue Remote. I hear it controls time and other things. <laughs> <laughs> that's the beyond part. Um, the nation of organization. Yeah, so yeah, this is perfect for your pantries yep. and stuff. So when you go and organize your pantry, you can put your cereals, flowers, teas, all that stuff. And it will look nice and organized when you go and put your house up for sale. Good one, Ryan. You're perfect for this. <laughs> How about this? The, uh, the, this is nice. Ryan, when are you going to buy a house? It's going to be a while. <laughs> you get the convenience of home. Why do you, why do you need a house? <laughs> oh, that's nice. They actually put like knives in there now. Oh, what is that? Is that like it's a cleaning like, caddy? Yeah. It's a dryer. Oh, yeah. So you, it, fancy. Yeah, that is fancy. It's the, uh, My kids would ruin it. Yeah, <laughs> They'd ruin it. When you, Sydney? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, well, I picked my butts on. Oh, I picked my butt. Welcome. Stopping in to give you guys a thumbs up real quick. Thank you. Have I picked my everyone. butt. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, Brandon says at BCG, do you have the brushless eight, uh, Gen 3 KitchenAid mixer? <laughs> I, I, drawers, laugh out loud. I always get the wrong size organizer. Should measure first. Yeah, measure okay. first. Measure first. Somebody was asking on another. Um, James Lewis just dropped in. Hey, James Lewis. We were just um, talking about um, that uh, Bosch measure for cabinetry, and I talked to this, uh, some construction people. Oh, yeah, I know. You're the one. Who, you're one of the people that told me about it too. And these guys were like, "You're gonna have to get it." So finally, I got it. But um, yeah, they said not for cabinetry. But this is a great way to organize your stuff. And since the uh, copper is really popular, and you, if you have like tools that you use all the time in the kitchen, this is a great way to hold your tools and to make it look really nice on the countertop. And it won't break the bank. I mean, look, it's freaking fifteen dollars. So it's a good way to update your kitchen in a very simple way. Okay, so let's go to another spot. Where do you want to go next? Um, let's go to the next section over. See what We're going to see the next section over. Uh, Lawnmower says, Chris, there might be some sort of contest or giveaway that might have <gasps> advice. Look at that. That is a oh, nice look. gift. That is. You should see the other one. Oh, oh you know what? It's a fleur de lis. A fleur, fleur de lis. Fleur de lis. Maybe like when we do the um, 2,000 um, subscriber giveaway, maybe I'll give um, one of these away. Okay. Yeah. So everybody can have a Louisiana cutting board. I'm sorry. I was just, I got sidetracked. Got sidetracked. All right, let's go this way. Contest uh, and the dimensions of things with the repeatable results. Demon says Vince. This is all cleaning stuff. Organizers, 3D communication. No, we're not doing there. I was going to buy a Bosch today for cabinet measuring project tomorrow. Thanks for the tip though. Yep. Oh, these are fantastic for you not scraping your uh, wood flooring. Yep. You put those underneath your chairs, they do work good. I will, like pro tip, I would, you know, it has a sticky thing on there. It does not stick very well. So what you do is you get um, that Gorilla Glue and then you put, like, you put them underneath there and that will hold a lot better than the sticky gooey stuff that ends up falling off and these roll off on the floor. So get Gorilla Glue. Forget that, um, the sticky tape. Hey, Eddie, do we need some of these? No, we have plenty. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. He said it. Uh... Half Blind Gamer says, I know, Christina, I just made forest fruits tea and one spoon of honey. Hope it helps. VCG construction. That's right, Demon. Here's some great um, organizer cubes, too, for um, inside your closet. So you can put your sweaters and everything. If you Like, if you have a ton of stuff on your floor, you can put your shoes and sweaters and everything. That way it's organized. You dust underneath there, make it look nice and clean. Um, that's a great way to organize your closets. Miss Opal, big mama, coming in from New Orleans. Yeah, welcome from New Orleans. She always says that. <laughs> Cheers from New Orleans. Did she say that this she, time? She did. Yeah, she she said was, greetings from New Orleans. Greatly, yeah, that's her. That's, that's her little perfect. calling card whenever she hey, pops hey, in a room. Mama, Demon says the chair pads are nice. You need to use extra glue, though. <laughs> oh, look, my, my clients. This is uh, Ryan's 
Ryan's mom who bought a house for me. She's watching too. <laughs> Chris, uh, Chris, big hug. Waking up uh, a bit right now. Coffee. Chris Conkle, coffee first, without a doubt. They're watching so too. Sh uh, shoe organizers. Yep, these are fantastic ways to organize your closets to make them look even nicer. If you're if you're in a seller uh, in a seller's market, you wouldn't have to do things like this. But it seems that the market has shifted. So. Now that you're entering a buyer's market, you're going to have to appeal to, to buyers even more. So you want to make those closets look as big as possible. So if you use uh, like shoe organizers like this, baskets like this, and um, you know nice nice uniform um, hangers, you're going to make that closet even look more inviting and make it look more open to buyers. And buyers love closet space, so you might as well highlight it that as much as possible. All right, we're going to... Please make sure to press the like button. Thank you. Actually, Thank you, Miss Opal. Sure to press the, oh, the, the, the th thumbs up button. So yeah, so here are some hangers, different uh, styles of hangers. These are not the ones that I would suggest by any means of the imagination. We, Eddie and I like the wood hangers. These are the ones that Eddie and I, the yeah, the felt hangers. These are wonderful because they never slip. This is like, these are really good. And then you don't make those weird marks in your shirts because they're rounded. Love, love those hangers. The, those are Christina's favorites. Yes. Or you can always go wood if you. Yeah, if you're really, if you, yeah, if you're really like really into it, I, I like a wood hanger too. But I find them to be a little pricey. But says, no wire hangers ever, Christina. Remember the little girl's name was Tina in the, in the, uh, Christina, little Christina. Make the kitchen comfortable. Okay, so if you're gonna put one of these in the kitchen make sure it matches all your stuff because i've seen this before that they get something that's functional and it doesn't match their stuff and it sticks out like a sore thumb so if you're going to put a mat underneath your kitchen sink because you know the water and everything please make sure it matches your decor and like i said the market has shifted so think about what a buyer see take yourself out of the equation and put that yourself in a buyer what are they going to see and if you're Bat, that mat underneath that freaking kitchen looks blue and the rest of your kitchen is brown and green it's gonna look terrible there you go no green and brown mm. or no blue and brown blue and or, whatever it is you know just make sure it matches you know i hate that it looks terrible that store actually has a decent selection of coffee brandon says okay and then look so the uh, the other thing i want to just to people and I even did this in a previous video is something called like they call it a vignette so what you do is you add, make spaces look like that someone else would want to live in them by the way that's your 10 cent word today vignette, vignette. oh okay my 10 cent word today of the day is vignette okay so what you would do is you would like make a place settings in the kitchen where people would sit down and actually make it look like there's coffee cups out and you would do all these things to make people go, oh, I would love to sit there and eat coffee, you know, drink coffee. And then you go into um, the living room area and you would have like a blanket out with a book open and a coffee mug or something on a little table. So it looks like they would want to we sit did, down. We did that in the first house. We, we did had, that in the We side. had no dining area. We had a kitchenette area. So off to the side, what we did is we, we bought a cheap um, high table and two stools and it created like a little bistro area mm -hmm. where people came in and then we workers, yeah yes. yeah we did that we we did yeah we we, we did i we had a did part it. of that i had a part of that <laughs> what did you do you I or, put it together you put the chair together that's I put right it together. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then and then we cooked cookies <laughs> yes we so for everybody who came through the door there were cookies right there we we did that but then I had fake cookies there. No, this is funny. So now I also had these fake cookies that sat in the vignetted area. And uh, the mm. guy actually, like, these things have been sitting out for months. And he was like, and those cookies were so good. I was like, I looked at my real estate agent and I went, oh, yeah. holy crap. Those have been out there for months. And he ate that. I'm like, no wonder why. And then he ends up getting bit by a brown little cruise fly. GM guy. GM guy, welcome to the street. The notification came in late. That's okay. Um, you're here. You're right on time. What should you do to decorate the garage? Put your organize. Organize it. That that's another. Just like a closet space, you would use baskets and um, shelving and organize it. Make that make that garage almost look like a work workshop area because yep. men like their man caves, obviously, and if, as and you if know. You have little 
cabinets that close up, put everything in there. Make it look nice. Mm -hmm. Make it a workshop put together. Miss mm -hmm. Opal says, VCG, oh, good one. No more wire hangers. No more wire James hangers says, ever. Wire hangers are okay if you look for your keys in your car, if you lock your keys mm -hmm. in your car. Okay, so I want to tell you that these things, as comfortable as they are, they look terrible on chairs, so please do not put these on chairs. It just, it does, make it's, it clean. yeah, make it clean. They don't, nobody likes those things. Blech. Uh, Miss Opal said, love. Wire hangers are only good to get your keys out of the car. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, mommy, yes, mommy dearest. Ready? No wire hangers ever. Thank you again. Make sure to hit that like button. For yeah, look at um, that. But you know what? If you don't, mm -hmm. oh well. Thanks mm -hmm. for coming. Those seat cushions are terrible. They're, you're right. Yeah. James, mm, true that. Boogie okay. Says I rent my closet to the boogeyman. No freeloaders in this house. <laughs> so when you put out those vignettes that I was telling you with the plates and everything, you're gonna want to get um, some uh, matching, nice pressed um, napkins, What's and that? do not put a tablecloth on your um, on your table. If anything, if you're looking for something like that, do a table runner, but not a tablecloth. Nobody does tablecloths except for grandmas anymore. Yeah, says my wife is really good at staging. She staged her old house and sold it in five days. She went to school for interior design, and she says she didn't want to do it for a living. But yeah, you know, I agree. She enjoys it. I did it too. I took I took the um I took staging yes, courses too. Up. Who's that? Boiled nuts. Hey, these nuts! He says, I'm late. Hey, everyone, sorry. <laughs> it's boiled nuts. He's from uh, Hawaii, Ryan. Ryan, look, boiled nuts. This is my um, my client's son, Ryan Parker, and they they bought a house for me. What about a year ago? Made me less. Joseph in two. Holy crap! Anyways, um, he bought some. Um, he bought a house, for, his parents bought a house for me and he helped along the way. And I ran into him and I was, he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm about to live stream. <laughs> so he, I said, come on in. So he came on in. GM uh, guy says that rug and that rug around the toilet bowl becomes a pee pad. Oh, that's yes. disgusting. <laughs> Do not put the rug around the, ugh, it's so gross. Nice on your feet, but just freaking disgusting, especially with children. Okay. So here you're going to want to, um, so if you like set up that vignetted area, you're gonna to want to put um, some nice stemware up the two. You don't have to go expensive. Yeah, you don't have to go expensive. They have all sorts of stuff, and even even in a place like this, I mean, you can buy some inexpensive stuff. But there's even a place called Tuesday Morning. I don't know if you have them where you're at, but uh, Tuesday Morning is a fantastic place to get things that you know you don't plan on using for a lifetime. Ms. You know, said, too funny. Oh, super. Oh, cookies and spiders. GM guy says, hey, Boiled 3D Communication says, organize efficient, great selling points. I think the appearance of neat, clean, and easy actually causes an emotional response great for selling, I guess. Yes, exactly. So, like, this area, like, you see this? This would be fantastic to kind of, like, put oh, it on a sense. back porch. You put it on a back porch, you set up these glasses, you can even actually put le uh, like water in there with some sliced lemons inside it and put it on the back porch when you're going to sell sell your house. And so that way when they go outside, they're like, oh wow, look how nice that would be. If, you know, so then they start imagining themselves in that space with their family doing stuff like that, which in, don't, they in won't. In Louisiana, you put some Bloody Marys out there, it's gone by the time. <laughs> yeah. Happy no, it would be a daiquiri machine. Or a daiquiri machine. <laughs> yeah, daiquiri. Or Bloody Mary, pick one. But it, I mean, just anything to make it feel Feel homey yes. and inviting. So um, we're gonna go over here. All right, we've done this for him. Oh my, oh my. Uh, Boiled nuts says hi, Brian. Half blind gamer says hello. Uh, that dude probably becomes uh, Louisiana Spider Man. Oatmeal cookies. <laughs> the Louisiana. Spider You're Louisiana we'll Spider Man. Do, we'll do that Louisiana to you. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're done in here. Okay, let's just keep moving. We're gonna move along. We're gonna go this way because Chris there. Says, uh, pink shed, heel rug. Oh my God, grim style like toilet cover that are knitted with embroidered flowers. My mom used to have this toilet bowl cover, a toilet paper cover thing. And it had like a Barbie, it had it had like a Barbie head on it and that would stick out and then she and, uh, crocheted this like dress around it. So it looked like a, like a bell dress, like a Southern dress over this Barbie thing. It was the it was hideous thing, but she had it in all the bathrooms. Cool. Anyways, okay, so I wanna to talk to you about candles. So a lot of people have different opinions of what certain smells smell good. If you are if you're, are selling your home, 
I strongly suggest just stick with good old either fresh cotton or vanilla. Those are two very neutral smells that people don't, like very rarely do people find it offensive. So something that smells like food would be vanilla or something that smells like, uh, you know, just something fresh and clean, almost like fabric softener would be fresh cotton. I say don't go with it. I say, you know what, use natural smells, cook something, put some cin cinnamon in a, in a pot with water, right. boil it, let it, let it but smell it's, out. Some people can't do that kind of thing. So they have these like scented yeah. beads and stuff. So they'll leave them out on the counter because they're, they're home all day. They're not home all day. Mm -hmm. So they'll put those out on the counter so it makes the house have a, a nice fresh I smell. If you're right. Stuff. But if you are at home, I mean, get a tube of cookies. Go yeah, but some people can't uh, like burn toast. So oh. you, you got to just kind of go with what people can do. Brandon asked, how my, mm -hmm. Brandon asked how my trip to LAX was. It's not until next time. Open that up. I want to smell it. Uh, BCG said we had a place called Monday morning, but it went out of business. Guess no. It's <laughs> <likes> Monday morning. <laughs> 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 Bed, Bath & Beyond, you get your 20% off coupon. Actually, if you go on the app, you do. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go on the app. You go on the app. So, um, all right, clean cotton. So this would be the scent right here. And this candle is only... Um, 19.99. No, that's for the two wick, the large one. So this one's even less. So it's probably like 10 bucks. This one smells like men. Yeah, this is, the, this is the one that smells like, yeah, it's just good old clean cotton. We always have that song. Meyer. <laughs> it smells like man. But see, isn't that pleasant? Just yes. nice? What do you think, Ryan? It smells delicious. What do you think of that one? That's the clean cotton. That's normal. Right. Yeah, like a normal smell. Circle says, my mom stages everything, okay. even herself. I love her. <laughs> She's all about staging. If you touch something and it falls on you. <laughs> James Lewis says, well, time to get back to work. Oh, James. Good. Be good. Be safe. You too, James Lewis. Thank you for stopping in, James. I appreciate it. Everybody's saying bye to James mm -hmm. Lewis. Uh -huh. Half Blind Gamer. I agree with Christina on the shower. Say it. it we're on uh, spinning, by the way. Are we really? It doesn't look spinning Let here. Let me see if it's just me. Yeah, because it's not spinning here. Maybe it's just me, and it could be. Okay, look. Oh, look who's on, Nick. Hey, Fish Nick. All right, so in Louisiana, people love our state because it's the most fantastic state yeah. in the world, and I love it. It's mine. And um, so, look, you can actually draw something on here, and it's like Louisiana proud. So, okay, and then these are really popular here too. These, this particular style of um, canisters that go on the counters, they people love them. Um, I'm kind of over it now because I feel like we've, you know, they've been doing it for so long, but it's still quite popular. PCG says pumpkin pie candles. Mm. GM guy, I'm not a fan of chair rails personally. Mm -hmm. It's awful. That is bloody. Oh my gosh. For me now. All right, so if you guys enjoy the smell of sunscreen, this one, oh, sun and stand. It's called sun and sand. It smells just sunscreen. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, see, very typical that you would see that all, and Ooh, outside, like that inside, but jambalaya, red so beans and rice, cafe au lait, punk, pecan pie, beignets, gumbo, etouffee. Oh my gosh, Should shrimp and grits, grits mm, muffaladas, crawfish, uh, ramalade, and po' boys. That's some good stuff right there. I know how to make all that crap. Do you know how to make it all? Mm -hmm. I do. Miss Opal says, that's bloody freaking Mary's for me now. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a good gumbo cup. And if you guys have never had a Nola style Bloody Mary, oh, I'm missing out. <laughs> look at this. What is it? No, don't die. Look at this gumbo cup. Oh, I like that, but I still like the Your Real, real Estate, estate Whisperer. Whisper. You, you guys have the Your Real Estate Whisperer gumbo cups, don't yes. you? <laughs> and you know what this is for? People win them on my channel. Did you have you played the the trivia game? Okay, so every Thursday night, many of the people that you see in the chat right now, um, about thirty people come out and we play real estate trivia night. Like this week coming up is going to be all about uh, tiny homes. So I ask twenty trivia questions, and then you have three bonus questions that have to relate to the videos that I posted this week. And um, you at the end, if you win, you win a your real estate whisperer oh, okay. gumbo mug. So that I give them away as a present. It's on my YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Okay. Every Thursday night, seven thirty. Yep. And do you know what this is for? Uh, that's for stirring the bits at the bottom of the pot. Also for brood. Yeah, so, so yeah, it, it stirs the bits at the bottom. So it will scrape the bottom so you don't have and any. Then if you need to know how to make gumbo. I already know how to make that. But if you don't. But I love gumbo check, spoons. You can always check. You on, see? Look. I love the gumbo spoons. on the channel? Yeah. You can put one of those right there. Yeah, yeah, right, right there. Yep. On how to make gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a video about how to make gumbo if you don't know how to make it. <laughs> All I mean, right. Um, 
Yeah. Brandon says FECG needs candles to get rid of the 887 smoke smell in the shop. Oh, yeah. Apple says sugar, cookie, and vanilla, 3D homes. Eddie used yes. to be on camera, and now he's the only one on. Oh, do you want to see me? <laughs> I, I could put me. I just didn't want to be so egotistical. But like, yeah, it's all about me. Hey, where did Ryan go? He's coming up. Rue says, what up? Huh, there I he mean, is. Nick says, what up, Rue? <laughs> okay. Chris so, Conco, why are candles so expensive I, nowadays? Oh, uh, I want to know what pillow that, um, um, it was King of the Crease. He was asked, he was saying that, don't get that pillow. It's terrible. I want to know which pillow he was talking about. Demon says, uh, he likes the wet dog scent candles better. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk in my house after a rain and you can really get that, a good really solid fresh made smell of that <laughs> you have one of these oh my the god miracle the miracle bamboo pillow holy crap eddie feel this pillow wow. oh that's you pillow yeah this is a me pillow, that's a you pillow. yeah i like things so like i like, I like a flat pillow so this is up. yeah Same here. and here the, the girls and the uh, the rest of them like a Mr. i love Mr. tiny homes Oh my God. See, this one you would like, Cindy. It gets flat, but it's still firm. No. No, you still don't like that? I love that. I like, I says, like GM guy says at BCG they make candles that smell like fresh cut grass. I know they do, and they smell good actually. I don't. Like, I don't. <laughs> oh, I hate my work. pillow. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Fishnick. They Hilarity. said, do they have a my pillow? Hey, you know Let's what? see if they have oh, a my pillow. Huh? What's that? It's made by Oh, it'll, oh, it'll it's allergen. Oh, allergen free. That's super smart. White down pillow. Yeah. Oh wow. It's right here too. <laughs> that is so smart. It says it right on the thing. Claritin. Luxurious protection. For Thanks. Your Good find, Ryan. Look, luxurious protection for mm -hmm. your bedding against dust mites, mm -hmm. household allergies. Oh, here they do have the my pillow. These things are garbage. Yeah. I hate them. They're not even. They're like. Cut up like pieces of foam. Pillow. It's like, the, you know, that crappy one that your grandma gave you. Like, oh, you're going to go stay in the guest room. You're going to you're gonna use the pillows that nobody lays on. The GM guy says, uh, Nick is here, so start talking about somebody else. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go over to this place. They were looking for the as-seen-on-TV stuff. Let's we'll see if we can find any kind of home decor that would go with from the as-seen-on-TV. All right, let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. More bedding. More bedding. Oh, this isn't really pretty. So this is a good set too. A queen set, seventy nine ninety nine. You get all that stuff in there. Oh, even one of those like cool. Have you, pillows. Yeah, those flipsy pillows. You can go like this, and it goes to a different color. <laughs> <laughs> Where, they, they don't have one out. I wish. Conkle asked, what is gumbo? It's oh. missing out on the best soup, but it is. No, it's not a soup. a soup. It's not a soup. But it, others would say, other estates would look at it as a soup. It's not a soup. It, it it's is, a gumbo. It, it is a class of its own, but it would be considered a soup in 49 other states. And it has everything. I mean, you're talking it about. It has love. It's a pot of love. You're talking about vegetables. Usually starts with a nice roux, ends up with the trilogy, which is green, uh, green they call, peppers. They call me onions, your roux. And garlic. Because if you take my initials, and, they call me and your then roux. you actually make those two, funny? and then you put a broth in there, then you put your meat in there, and you put other vegetables. Oh, so good. So good. I think Eddie likes that. <laughs> I need some soon. I was just telling Ryan that you guys call me your roux, which I think is funny because, you know, like roux is in gumbo. <laughs> and if you don't know what roux is, it's a flour and oil and mixed together until it's really, really brown. Is Aubrey on the stream? Mm, delicious. I haven't seen her. Uh, I thought you said. Ms. Opal says, thank you, Louisiana Proud. Oh, oh it's, yeah, baby. And we are that's Louisiana Sydney. Proud. It's Sydney's here. I love pillows. I love pillows, too. No, Milky Cow. Milky Cow is here. Milky Cow's there. Yep. Ms. Opal said, Louisiana Proud. Oh, yes, baby. And oh, we yeah. Are Louisiana, Louisiana Proud. proud. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, it. Okay, so look, here's a nice fleur de lis. Fleur de lis. Like, this is a Louisiana tradition right here. They have them everywhere in people's homes. It's decorated inside their homes, it's decorated on everything. The people just love a fleur What's de lis. It? What's that? What do you like, Eddie? 
Uh, uh, oh my God, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, we can't take Eddie anywhere. <laughs> Half blind gamer had to leave. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's had enough. What is that? Is that soft? No, it's not soft at all. Music and peace. Uh, Half blind gamer on a sweet one. Uh, demon, oh, it's a coverlet. But you know, like the the thing is, co the coverlet is one hundred and twenty nine dollars. Why would you do that? And GM guy said the wood spoon could have been uh, uh, used for other things. Yes, yeah, oh, my mom was a classic wooden spoon user. But that one with the, the hole in it. Spoon, the roux, you don't use it for anything. You else. know what? That's what we should it's give away. We should give that. Uh, the, uh, we should, we need to give away one of those cutting boards, uh, your real estate whisper cup, and a roux uh, ladle for the two thousand subscribers. That's what we'll do. Brian, you gonna show up for that? You wanna? Yes. Hey, we'll we'll have it at my house, right. and we'll, we, if we can get some bunch of people out there. We'll have the two thousand subscriber it's like. Whoa. Love tiny homes. <laughs> oh, you'll love tiny. Like it's Thursday night, Opal. So Thursday night is the tiny home trivia night, and um, we have twenty uh, questions, so you could win a your real estate whisper gumbo mug. <laughs> What tiny homes is, they're tiny. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, no kidding. But, and, but it's a whole lifestyle. I think it's so cool how, how inventive people I are. Some memory foam pillows always have to flip or turn them, lawnmower says. I love my mind. And I, I, I learned a lot by doing the research on this. Okay, so look, I'm going to go to the shower curtains area. Um, okay, so you when you're. Say one of these? Look. What? Okay, this is about as decorative as you're gonna wanna get when it comes to buying a shower curtain in you know your home that you're listing for sale. This is about as like loud as you wanna be. You wanna really keep it white and clean, like a very clean look when it comes to a bathroom. When you add a bunch of color, it tends to busy it up and it makes people not feel as fresh and clean as a white shower curtain. So if you have one of those inserted fiberglass tubs, please use a white shower curtain or something with just a little bit of design to it. Not anything too entirely busy because you want that space to look as open and as large as possible. Oh, Eddie says that too all the time. Cooler than the other side of the pillow. Tiny homes are cozy. Yes, you have to really be in love with the person that you're spending your time with in a tiny home or be living by yourself. Chris says, uh, sounds like somebody couldn't refund his my pillow. Yeah, <laughs> like look. See, isn't that, that's, that's a nice thing to put in a, like in a kid's bathroom and it would still be okay for buyers and it's still decorative and fun. That is super cool. I love that. BCG says, Brandon, uh, I'm using my wood, so, I'm sorry, I'm using my wood spoon now, right now, GM guy. BCG well, good. Said. This would be awesome in Aubrey's bathroom because she's got that, um, yep, that little blue, blue, that little bit of blue. That would be really pretty. Brandon, uh, true, when you're a big mama opal like me. You body shaming things, uh, you body slam things over. It's as work though, if not done right. Well, okay, so this would be fine, right? This would look fine, but this right here is too busy. And you want to know something absolutely hysterical about this particular shower curtain? I have a skirt in this identical pattern. Yes. <laughs> that came from uh, the uh, uh, White House black market. It is this actual fabric is this actual design. So I have a shower curtain for a skirt. <laughs> Granted, it's five years old, but yeah. see, that's too busy. This is too busy. There's GM too much says, going on here. Jim guy says, I've seen the pillow guy at Hornbow. He thinks his cat's meow. His cat's meow. <laughs> Everybody say All right. hello to Aubrey. So um, if, if you ever watched my staging video, I talked about white fluffy towels. These are perfect. That has just a hint of color in them, but you know, just pure white towels look the best when you're selling your home in a bathroom. I know this has nothing to do with it, but feel. Oh, I know. These are wonderful. My brother has these. I need no. <laughs> Christina says no. But yeah, the, the, you want to use white towels in the bathroom when you're staging it, when you're staging it for sale. I tell you, do not put down floor mats because it actually makes the space look smaller. So what you want to do is actually pull up the bath mats and put them away until after, until after it's sold. I'm sorry. It's just one of those things because you really want to make the bathroom space look as large as possible. Nick says, try before you buy. Demon says, I have a breeze pop looking pillow, four foot long pillow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you learn anything today, uh, Ryan? You know how to decorate your house when you're listing it for sale. And I'm actually going to be um, doing a video on Tuesday 
about uh, things that people should be doing before they actually put their house on the market, like the pre-listing stuff. So it's going to be a real detailed thing. But a lot of the things that we're talking about here, I'm covering. Okay. Well, so we're, let me show you something else. Miss Opal said, Cat's Meow, mm, love our French Quarter. Yes, there is a great <laughs> bar there called Cat's Meow. I love, love the Cat's Meow. It is a karaoke bar. If you have one of these, put it away. Put it away. Do not believe this out. Nobody wants to know that, what you scrub your toilets Spring's with. Spring's open. Stays open. And then you, yeah, that those have been around for a long time, sweetie. Uh, three communication says thanks for explaining your rude nickname. <laughs> I didn't want to ask because it's like something I should know. <laughs> I do. <laughs> like it's because it's your real estate whisper. You take the initials and it's your <laughs> That symbol fleur de lis is French now. Yes. It's uh, yes. It, it is, is French. French. Very French. Well, Very. It is French down here. <laughs> it's French down here because. Believe it or not. CG, she probably used the wooden spoon when she found wire hangers in your closet. Christina. Yeah, probably. Probably. Guy, my realtor gave me a cutting board. I told them it was the least they could do to consider their cutting was big, bigger than mine. Where is the um, welcome mats? Where do you uh, think the welcome mats are? Okay. All right. So one of the things that, um, the first thing that people look at when they're looking at your house besides... Yeah, but when you the, the, you want something that welcomes them into the door, well, into the house. So you want to make sure that the front door is painted. You want to make sure that you have, um, you know, like a nice wreath or something like that, something welcoming, and a beautiful new floor mat. So if you, they see this and they're walking in the door, home sweet home, welcome. You want to put something like that in to welcome people in the house. I love that one. Yeah, that, and that one's got too much on it. But something that welcomes them through the door um, just to give it that more homey feeling. So it just it's just a good way to introduce your house is a, a nice welcome mat. Yep. Yep, that's perfect. Oh, you can always have Cooper Oh, yes. And that is a fantastic product. If, you, if you're in a, where is it? Oh, if you, so if you're heading out the door and you get a last minute call, this stuff really does work. So if you want to leave and freshen up your bathroom, even if you haven't had one of those moments, no. it is a good, it works. Like if you just spray one little spray of that in a bathroom, even if you haven't had a, you know, like a, a moment, right. it does make the bathroom smell really fresh and clean. So just spray a of that. It, it tends to really go down the hallway quite a bit. It does work. It's a, it's a good product. I like it. Basically when selling your home, out that are personal. Yes, no, personalize. total, yeah, de declutter and depersonalize. Uh, people with wooden spoons <laughs> yeah. when they use the white toilets or white towels to dry their hands roofs. <laughs> well, there was two sets of towels in my house. You had the towels that were on the ring, right? You, you had the towels that were on the ring, and then you had the towel that was sitting right next to the sink. You only use the towel in the sink. You never use the decorative towels that were on the ring. Those were those were the good towels. Miss Opal says she'll be there Thursday night. Nola style. Nola style. Nick you br says, bring in uh, some gumbo BCG. and some. Uh... <laughs> Nick says at BCG the switch. Oh, holy cow! Oh, That's, watch oh. Out behind you. Okay, look at this thing. Okay. What? Oh my God, this is like a memory foam for your feet when you get out and look, you can like, it's for like wet areas. <gasps> I'm liking that. Chris Conkle said he got two wooden spoons broke over his rear. Oh, I've got, uh, my mom liked to use the wooden spoon with a hole. She loved that thing. Oh, forget. Oh, Sid. Sid, feel these. Come here. You think that you had a good one? Fill Richard those. Richard Garner's in the house. Hello, Richard Garner. My favorite Scotsman. I still like those other shoes better. You like the other shoes better? This is flip flops. Okay, so that was a good thing about the welcome mat. So let's keep moving along. <gasps> Ooh, these towels are on clearance. They're not really soft though. You, uh, Rue, you can see if they have the Shark Ion W1 handheld vacuum. The Shark One W1 handheld vacuum. Okay, here. Uh, shark ion okay here's one of these um devices that is listening to everything that you're doing in your house so big brother's watching so if you want to invite yourself into getting this 129 dollar machine to monitor everything you do go ahead and do that <laughs> what's that oh that's that's this is the purple pillow this has nothing to do with decorating your home but my mom and sales feel welcome oh my god this is what i got my mom <gasps> Eddie, I don't know how she couldn't feel better from this. Yeah, Seriously, sit on that. 
3D communication says, I have a bath mat, I love it. GM guy, that is my, nice. <laughs> friends of mine, really. Is it disturbing? Or do you, because you're kind of making a face like you don't feel kind well. Of, but kind of. It doesn't make you feel good about yourself, <laughs> making you feel funny, <laughs> isn't it? GM guy, <laughs> you are correct. Okay. You can bake bread, and like I said earlier, or get a tube of cookies, or cook, uh, boil some cinnamon in a pie uh, with water and create that smell. I like to. Right, it becomes inviting. I do like um, when you put in. Um, you put in um, oranges, lemons, and cinnamon sticks. Mm -hmm. yep. That it smells delicious. Chris Conkle says, haha, I was waiting for somebody to bring up the uh, potpourri. Potpourri, potpourri. Okay. All right, so we, we're trying to find that, um, that vacuum cleaner that he was talking about. Oh. All the way over there. Okay, come on. We're, we're going to follow Ryan. Come on, Sydney. Oh, there she is. I didn't know where she was. Oh, look, a poop emoji. All right, I digress. There you go. Oh, because everybody likes sports. Uh, hey, King, what was that? What was that uh, I hate sports. What was that pillow you said was terrible? Chris, My pillow. We have a product called Poopery. Yes. Uh, King of the Crease, Richard Garner. The rigid will kill the Uriobi. Yes. GM guy, that My Pillow is terrible. The My uh, Pillow is terrible. Kidding. Too funny. This thing works fantastic, though, the air fryer. Brandon says, at King of the Crease, I hated that, too. Uh, You're showing the way, Ryan. Oops. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so what do we want to look at in particular about that? The shark. King of the Crease says, I bought two my pillows, $50 each. Still have one in the package. And I know. They're terrible. <laughs> he says, uh, the shark ion. This thing, oh, the Ion high handheld. Why not get the Dyson? I don't know. I like this. That's a shark rocket. I don't. My Dyson works perfect. I love our Dyson. We had a shark. It was good, but it ended up smelling like dog hair. We got a Dyson, and it does not stink. King, I feel the same way. I don't think he could give that away. But that Dyson is is up for two forty nine. Two forty nine. Yeah, that my pill is terrible. And then the, I mean, I'm sorry, the shark rocket. The shark rocket. And then the Dyson is. This yep. one is the a Dyson Animal. Golly, though, six hundred bucks for that thing. <laughs> or you can go the Dyson V seven uh, V seven Motorhead vacuum for two ninety nine. What's that one? Yeah, but this one's supposedly for the pet hair and stuff. Oh yeah, pet hair is in costume. What the in the hell? You can get the, no, but this one look. This one is six ninety nine. What makes this one so much? Absolute cordless vacuum. That's why. Absolute cordless. They're all cordless. They're all cordless. All cordless. Uh, mini soft. Dusting brush, HEPA filtration, yeah, has up that to 60 minutes. This one too. Point and shoot uh, dirt ejector, 40% yep. bigger, transform yep. into handheld, two cleaner heads for carpet and hardwood floors. Uh, There's no difference. Yeah, that one does carpet and hardwood. This one just does the... Yeah, that one just does carpet. Oh, so you're, you're kind of stuck, especially here. Everybody's got hardwood. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, like... I love hardwood. Doesn't matter which vacuum you have, it sunset, won't be better than all the pet hair. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Every time I open a window, I'm like, oh my God. Do you know what really works great for pet hair? This is my trick is a, a microfiber cloth. You get the microfiber um, mops. Yeah, a shark, a shark, a shark <laughs> yeah they were, it works fantastic. Mom Mower says, uh, Nick, King of the Crease wants to do a tool war with you. You're my pillow against his pillow. <laughs> tool war in a cage match. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another channel ryan i don't know if you like um if you like uh um tools and stuff so they my friends at vcg construction they have this tool channel and i've done some actually some kind of funny collaboration videos with them with what, some of my characters but they, every friday they have a tool war and it's about like Wyobi tools against d wall or you know milwaukee so they 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 razz each other on live streams all over the internet afterwards about or before the next battle the bix the they duke it out and so. remember to check out vcg construction yes always <laughs> 4 30 p.m central standard time or 5 30 eastern standard time <laughs> <laughs> and this week, check them out on Thursday for Octoberfest. Octoberfest. What are you looking at? Do you want one of these? Uh, Do you know I have... See you on Tuesday or on Take a Tip Tuesday or thir Thursday's night trivia. Okay, so I have a trick for pet pet odor. Did you like... Have you, Do you have dogs mm -mm. that piddle? Mm -mm. Okay, I was going to tell you, I have, a, I have a, a really good 
it's my most popular video on YouTube. It has um, like 75,000 views on how to get the smell of pet urine out of carpet. So I was just gonna let you know. It's, you, you, you blot it up first, you blot it up first and then um, you put the white vinegar down and you let that sit and then you blot that up. Then you put baking soda on top of it and let that until it dries mm -hmm. and it pulls up all of that oh, pee. Moisture. Yeah, under the, even, even under the pad, it really does work. Um, I have a dog that has a urine. He, when he gets pissed off, he likes to pee on things. <laughs> Literally pissed off, he likes to piss on. So <laughs> those vacuums are still better deal than my pillow. <laughs> yeah, uh, demon, just throw a match on it. I don't know anything about litter mats. On Does anybody lawn. know about litter mats? Do these really work for? Um... Oh god! Oh my god! Okay, so here's the deal about pet toys, though. If your house is for sale, Ryan, you can't you can't have pet toys out. You're gonna have to put those away. And you know what? A good way to put those away. So they're not in people's faces. You were just trying to be annoying. Uh, you put those in a basket. You put them in a basket, and then you know you like put on the off to the side, so that way you, your dogs don't have to suffer through going through. You know they don't like the fact that they're moving, but at least you can have their toys out for them. So. So Richard Garner says, Rue, the Dyson V10 Absolute Vacuum is what made James Dyson cut the cord on Dyson vacuums, and James Dyson is not making any more corded vacuums. I didn't know that. Thank you, Richard Garner. Yeah, I there's... Or a TTI or a... I think... <laughs> uh, I've heard like uh, Richard Garner talk about Dyson vacuums quite often. So, oh, this uh, is that microfiber cloth um, thing I was talking about. Miss Opal says, Richard, I understand my blades. I break them all the time. I love sitting on the mower and chilling with headphones on. Sweet Louisiana. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if you do have pets and you don't have time to get the carpet, you know, or uh, get the um, vacuum out because someone's on their way over to the house, they're on their way over and you do not have enough time. What you do is you get one of these microfiber cloths just like this, right? And this will get up the pet hair in a flash. Um, you know, if you don't have time to do that, you can do use one of these microfiber uh, dust mops. Oh, of course I picked up the one that's broken. Yes. Cup oh, I have that cup. <laughs> I do have it. I use it on my live streams quite often. Looks like more than one just broke. Yeah. So you, you use one of these and it does get the pep hair up really quickly. Um, so if you're in a rush, that get one of those. They, they work fantastic. This is the one we use because it seems to work a little bit better and grab the pet hair underneath the, um, underneath the uh, couches, couches. I hate when I lose my train of thought. It happens um. all the time. VCG says, you're the best, Eddie. Thanks. No problem. Uh, Lama says, is... I just let my dogs out when their eyes turn yellow. Huh? Gonna wear one oh, he's going to get this first dog. Look, so he's going to get in that, that annoying thing. What kind of dog you got? Yorkie. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. The mom's going to kill me. Your mom is going to kill you. I wonder, if she, is she still watching? Is she still watching? <gasps> this, is, this is a good mug. Oh, that's a nice cup. I love this mug. So you've got the, you've got the iRobot, and uh, you've got Samsung, which actually has a visionary mapping camera. Wow, they're $1,000. Yeah. That is $1,000. 70 times, uh, 70 times more powerful suction. He's got more. Oh, it's Wi-Fi. You can let it out through your phone. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. And, you know, I have, has anybody have one of these? I've heard that these, um, that people use these and they've had success with them, but to me, it doesn't seem like it would clean very well. I would do this one, which is made by iRobot. Well, yeah, they're both, they're both by iRobot. Um, Midnight Raven, hello. Midnight Raven, welcome. We're, we're at the Hobby Lobby. We're looking at these, uh, Isn't it the same as the, uh, these vacuum cleaners and the, mops uh, and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like our Roomba. We use ours all the time. Yeah, but this is a good way to kind of maintain your house when your house is for sale. Yep. If you want to maintain it, like, during the week and you just don't have time, you can get just one of these sure, little robots. Just make sure it doesn't run when the people are there. Yes. Loud. They are loud. They are super loud. They are. That 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 is one of the biggest downfalls of those. Uh, so I just kind of kept going in the same. Uh, yeah. The same circle. No, we have ours, and it's, I, I like, it's supposed to be a smart machine but it's really stupid and it kept going getting stuck underneath ours the cabinets is, ours is special. yeah so we put um bumpers on it uh, i have a i have a trick for the bumpers i have a trick for everything so them on there, and then when it hits like underneath the counter and where it normally gets stuck it hits it and it's like oh and they would pop backs back up it doesn't, 
Yeah, that's it would get stuck. So that we we put uh, the bumper like look, I'm gonna show you. We put the bumper right here, so that way it would get under the cabinets, but not oh, all the ways. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that way it wouldn't get stuck underneath there. Okay. With Smot, huh? Yeah. With Smot. Uh, yes. Cathy with Smot. <laughs> yeah, I told all right. You, uh, I'm gonna show. Raven showed up, right? Yes, Min. <laughs> Okay, so when you have your house for sale, and let's just say you did buy new curtains, right? You bought the new curtains, and you have, they have those packaging marks all over them. A great way to get the packaging marks and just go ahead and hang your curtains right away is you use a steamer. So you hang the curtains just like you would, and you pull out this steamer, and you just start running it down the curtain. It will get all of those marks out of the curtains, and it really makes the curtains look really nice. And I these... these uh, Steamers are not expensive. This one's only twenty nine dollars, and it they really work. Eddie fell in love with a steamer. As a matter of fact, I had to travel one. Take it with me all the time when I travel. Yep, we love we love it. They really do work well. But they're great for when you, if you get new curtains and you put them in the house, you can get the those marks out. You know, if you try to wait for them to come out, honestly, they never really do. They never really do. BCG says have have the robot and love it. Uh, everybody saying hello to Fernby. Uh, Eddie, send me the Samsung bot vacuum to my house if it is Darth Vader one. <laughs> yes, the Darth Vader one. Opal says, y'all got to go uh, give you hugs. Much respect from New Orleans. Yep. We love you too. Yeah, we love you too. You better come back on Thursday and enjoy some tiny house um, stuff. All right, so I want to, before we leave, I want to talk to you, uh, everybody, just about one thing. I know we have like functioning kitchens. And when you have your house for sale, of course you want to be able to still cook and do all the stuff that you normally do. But it's one of those moments that you're going to have to start putting those things away. I know that like, you know, you love your crock pots and all that, but when your house is for sale, you're going to have to put those things under the cabinetry. Do not leave them out. Do not leave them out when your house is for sale. People don't want to see your countertops cluttered. So put them up. I know it stinks and I, it's just one of those things you're just going to have to deal with just while your house is for sale because you wanted to get it sold as quickly as possible. You want people to feel comfortable and welcoming and they want to see themselves in it. So that's my last little tip of today and I hope that you enjoyed your time here at the Bed Bath and Beyond. Eddie showed you a lot of Beyond. Eddie show him some more Beyond at the Bed Bath and Beyond. Show him some Beyond. Some Beyond. Yes. No, I thought you were going to do oh. dancing. Oh no. No dancing. Please. Stop. Um, Thursday no good night, song on. Thursday night, just remember that we, we have Thursday night trivia night. This week is all about tiny homes, and I hope to get, see you guys there. That's at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. And then Tuesday, I'll have my Tuesday tip videos up for you. Um, and uh, it, this week is going to be all about preparing your home. So you're going to see a lot of the things that you saw in, in this live stream as some B-roll shots that are going to be going into my Tuesday tip video. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody on Thursday night, and um, I hope everybody had a great day. Thank you to my super chatter, King of the Crease. Thank you, King. Thank I, you very much. I appreciate your, your <laughs> support to the channel. That means a lot to me, and like, like VCG says, every penny that's given to us in the super chat goes like straight back, back to the chat. channel. I mean, we're just we're going Chris back. Chris Kunkel Vlogs. Oh, boom. Hit the like button. Hit the, and make sure you hit the like Thank button so on much. the way out. Thank you so Thank much. You, Chris. Chris Thank Kunkel you, Chris. Chris Kunkel Vlogs, you're awesome. Thank you so much. He's always been a great supporter to the channel. Our community's awesome. Our, we do Our have a group. crew is awesome. We, have, we are so lucky to have the group of people that have uh, supported us from when I only even had 100 subscribers. And everybody has been so kind, coming up, helping me with uh, video ideas, and 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 I just enjoy Thursday nights so much with you guys. That's like that is the highlight of my week. So Richard I hope says, to see everybody out there on Thursday. Richard says, "How do you get water out of a basement, Richard? That's going to take a lot of vacuuming out." And not only that, in Louisiana, we don't have basements, so I can't answer <laughs> that question. And um, and we're going to make sure that he comes in on Thursday night and plays. You're going to play, Ryan? Yes. Yeah, Ryan's going to play Thursday night. Yes. Yeah, he's going to, and we're going to see if he's going to clean house. Because, you know, that would be the easiest way to deliver a Roku cup is to just drop it off by his house. <laughs> <laughs> the shipping on that's going to be spot on. Right. So, everybody, I want to say thank you. Bye, hey, everyone. Hey, Ryan, do you know how I end all of my videos? Do you mm. know what the, my catchphrase is? Don't remember? And we tell you, you all this, this because, because you matter. matter. And you guys do. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Good night. Good night, everybody. Have fun. Thank you.